Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. I thought we would do something a little bit different today. I haven't treated my hair or my face in a hot minute. I feel like I haven't just sat at home and done face masks and done hair masks and just pampered myself. So I thought I'm gonna do that with you guys today and instead of me just chatting away, I thought I would answer some assumptions that you guys have of me. And I asked over on my Instagram to send the assumptions in so that's basically what we're gonna do. I think I'm gonna do my hair mask first because I'm gonna sleep in it. I'm just gonna get straight into the assumptions and we can start answering some. So, so I've seen a lot of assumptions that I am an only child, so that I don't have any siblings. And funnily enough, I have a brother who I never really talk about online. He is eight years older than me. He's married and he's got two kids. So I've got two amazing, amazing nephews. They are the cutest little things and the sweetest little things. But I just don't talk about them on the internet. I think there's this real kind of sense of people who put their lives on the internet have to put everything on the internet. But I like to keep a lot of things private and to myself. So yeah, I actually have a brother. <laughs> I'm actually just putting my towel on my shoulders because I don't want the uh, hair mask to go on my jumper. But the funny story is, is that my mum and dad, after having my brother, didn't want any more kids. And this is why there's an eight year age gap. But basically my mum and dad were like, one child is more than enough, like we're happy. And then came along my cousin, Anjali. And when my dad saw her, he was like, oh my God, let's try for a girl. So basically my mum and dad tried for another baby and then I came along and luckily I was a girl. I don't know what they would have done if I was a boy. But basically that is how I came about on the earth. Okay, so I really didn't think this through because now I can't check my phone for any more assumptions. So I'm gonna kind of go off ones that I read earlier on and a lot of them had to do with like relationships. So a lot of people think that me and my husband just never argue and that we are like this perfect couple. But really like honestly guys, like we are just like any other couple. We argue about things and we definitely have like disagreements. We try not to go to sleep on an argument because it just plays around in your mind and it's just not really healthy. But we're just like everyone else. Like obviously couples are gonna argue and you're not always gonna think the same about certain things either. But um, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that we are a normal couple just like everyone else and we have our ups and we have our downs. We obviously don't share much about our relationship online. And I think that's a really healthy thing to do in this day and age because I feel like sometimes just too much stuff is shared online, if you know what I mean. Okay, a lot of people um, had an assumption that I was Punjabi, but um, I thought I'd let you guys know that I am in fact full Gujarati. I did have some assumptions on there that like my dad was Gujarati and my mom wasn't, or like the other way around, but my mom and dad, both Gujarati, both born in Gujarat um, and then moved to like England and stuff. But uh, yeah, I am fully Gujarati. A lot of people um, thought I was Punjabi or Arabic, like other different ethnicities, but um, I am in fact 100% Gujarati. But obviously I was born in the UK, so, um, oh my God, I just dropped loads of masks on the floor. <gasps> yeah, I was born in the UK, so um, I have like this accent and whatever, because sometimes I get comments on my YouTube videos, like why are you putting on an accent? And I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> Um, okay, so someone has said that you prefer summer over winter, and I think that is totally true. I really don't like the cold. I am much more happier in the hotter, sunnier months. I feel like I can take this off now. I feel like it's not really going anywhere. Oh my god. By the way, the hair mask that I'm using is the hair food. This is like my second tub. Um, it's the papaya one. But I think I want to try the aloe vera one next. Um, but I'm just basically putting this all up in my hair. I'm putting it like in my roots and everything and then we are gonna tie this up into a bun uh, and then move on to like face masks and stuff. Literally look how long my hair is. <laughs> oh my God. It is so long, but we're gonna get this tied up in a second. Um. Okay, so another assumption that I got a lot, a lot on Instagram was to do with pregnancy, kids, all that kind of jazz and I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. After getting married, I've gained a lot of weight and people just assume that you're pregnant and I'm like, guys, let me just live my best life. Let me eat whatever I wanna eat without having to flipping answer to like thousands of people on the internet. 
So I just thought I'd uh, answer this for you guys that no, I'm not pregnant. No, we do not want kids. We don't plan on having kids. And also I'm gonna leave a link to Desi Perkins' video that she has done, uh, which is actually really important because I feel like people think it's okay to ask whether someone's pregnant or when you're having kids or anything to do with pregnancy really. So I'm just gonna leave that video in the description box so you guys can go and watch that for yourselves. And I think it's just a real education piece for a lot of people who uh, I feel like we all need to be a bit more thoughtful and kind when it comes to that subject matter. But I just thought I'd put on here in this assumptions video, seeing as there's been a lot of assuming going on, that no, I'm not pregnant. I like to enjoy my glass of wine every now and again. And yeah, that we don't want kids and that's just a personal choice of ours. So that hopefully puts that to bed. Now I feel like my hands are so much more freer so we'll be able to answer more questions. Um, so I actually got a lot of questions like this as well. I feel like there's quite a lot of like theme of stuff when it came to questions. And um, one of them was that I didn't go to university or that I haven't studied or done any further education. And I actually have gone to university. I went and did advertising and public relations at uni and I came out with a 2-1. I absolutely like did not enjoy my uni life because I had a lot going on at home. In my first year of uni, my dad passed away and my grandma passed away. So that kind of was like a big shake up in my personal life. And yeah, I just suppose I didn't really enjoy it. I just wanted to be a makeup artist. Um, my mum was very much so like adamant that I get a uni degree and have that as like a backup and then go into like the makeup world. But even when I finished my um, uni degree, my mum was like, no, you have to get a uh, uh, an office job and then you can do that on the side. So that's pretty much what I did. And yeah, I just kind of like fell into YouTube. And also I did get another assumption that I started YouTube as a hobby. And uh, that is so true because there was not really anyone doing this or not a lot of people that were doing this as like a job back when I started. Just for me, it was like a form of therapy because I had a really stressful job and it was something for me to do in my spare time. Basically put my energy into something that made me happy. So uh, yeah, that's how I kind of fell into YouTube, like it was never like a planned thing. I feel like nowadays a lot of people like want to become YouTubers, whereas back when I started it wasn't really a thing. <laughs> Which actually makes me sound like a, like a dinosaur. <laughs> There's quite a few people who have asked if my husband is Indian or that they think that he's not Indian, but um, he in fact is Indian. He is Gujarati as well. They're both Gujarati, so that always helps with like the cultural side of things. We are from different parts of Gujarat, so they do things a lot differently to how like my family do things. Like simple things like just talking, like they speak a different dialect of Gujarati, but I've kind of got used to all of that. Um, but yeah, he is in fact Gujarati and Indian. <laughs> so the mask that I've actually done is the Bosha Luminizing Pink Mask. It's basically like the black one that they have, but pink in colour. <laughs> okay, so next question. Okay, so someone's asked that you've never really suffered from acne even during puberty, your skin always glows. So I suppose my skin has been quite normal. Um, I do get breakouts. There was a time in my teens when I had moved to America and I literally had so many breakouts on my forehead. I have no idea why, but um, yeah, I do have my like good days and bad days of my skincare. I feel like a lot of it has to do with what I eat. So I know whenever I have dairy, because in general, I like to keep what I eat very like plant-based. But there are times where I'm like, oh, I just really fancy like a chocolate cake. And I know whenever I eat something like that, I generally get some sort of breakout on my face. So I know that whenever I'm eating as like fruit and veggie things as possible, my skin is actually really good. So um, I actually have a whole skincare routine video that I'm gonna be doing, which will go in depth with like all the products and things that I use. Okay, so someone has asked, you prefer to be on your own rather than a group? And when I read that, I was a bit like, I feel like sometimes I do want to be by myself and there are other times, actually more times than not, um, that I love being around people. So I do love it like whenever 
like our friends or family come over to our house, like I really love that, but there are definitely times if I've got like a headache or if I'm really hungry, like I do just kind of wanna be by myself. But I feel like the, as the older I've gotten, I've definitely become more comfortable with being alone and being by myself. If my like husband's away for like uh, an evening, I will go to bed early and I will go into bed and I will like either read a book or do some coloring or like do like something by myself or listen to meditation music, like I love that moment of just being by myself as well. So yeah, I suppose I've been able to appreciate it more the older I've gotten. Okay, someone asked, you're more spiritual than religious. I definitely would have to agree with that. I grew up in a very religious household and my grandma like taught me everything. Like we used to do um, prayers every evening together. Me and my cousins, we would all like sit together and like all pray together. So I grew up in a very, very religious environment. But the older I got, I've been so much more in touch with the spiritual side of things. I don't really talk about this much online, but I definitely would say that I'm way more spiritual than I am religious which isn't a bad thing either one isn't a bad thing okay quite a lot of people have asked me about like me being happy all the time or me being so positive all the time and i just want to like tell you guys that i am not happy and positive and just bubbly all the time there are so many times where i'm dealing with things in my head or things that have happened which literally make me want to like scream and shout i feel like there's a lot of work that i need to do myself to become in a place where i can be like on one level. I'd like to think that I'm positive and I like to think that I see the like light in everything. I try my best to do that but there are times where I'm so stressed out or I'm so like ah, where it, I find it really really hard to do that so yeah I don't want you guys to think that I'm positive all the time because yeah it's not like I don't think anyone can ever be like that if you know what I mean. <laughs> Someone has asked you love cooking. Yeah I actually really really love cooking. I think over the last like couple of years like I've got really into like knowing what's in food or knowing recipes and wanting to do things by myself so yeah I've definitely um got this like love for cooking and I definitely want to do some like cooking videos on my channel I'm just trying to get some sort of setup in our kitchen where I can actually film it really nicely with like good lighting and all of that so that is the plan I'm thinking of starting cooking videos next year um, so yeah, let me know if you guys would be interested in watching them. They'll just be on this channel, like I'm not going to start a separate channel for that. Um, but yeah, let me know if that's something you guys would like to see and if there are any recipes or like, I mean if you follow me on Instagram, like I share quite a lot of recipes and food stuff on there anyways. But let me know if that's something that you guys would be interested in watching. <laughs> Someone's but you hate combing your hair. So when you saw me combing my hair in the beginning of this video, like... I kid you not, I can't remember the last time I combed my hair. My hair is just so long and has a mind of its own that once I've like styled it or I've like left it wavy or curled it or whatever, I leave it as that. Like I very, very, very rarely comb my hair. Quite a few people have actually mentioned on here that um, I come from like a rich family and I've just got to tell you guys, like we are all working class people. I don't know where this has probably come from. Like I have always, always, always had a job since I was... 15. I used to work at a local pharmacy and then like a shoe shop and new look and then I had a couple of office jobs and then I went to uni and I still had a job then on the side like I've always been working and I've never been given money from my parents I always used to say to my dad like oh if I do like work around the house like can you give me pocket money and he was like I don't believe in pocket money when you're old enough you can go out and get a job and like earn money for yourself but I'm not going to just like give you money like that so I don't know if that's like an Indian dad thing but yeah I wouldn't say that I'm from a rich family from like my brother to like all my cousins like we all work really hard and have got to where we've got by putting in the effort so I would not say that I'm from a rich family but <laughs> Someone's but you love Indian food. That is so true. It's probably one of my favorite cuisines. I'd have to say Mexican food and Indian food are like my top two. Someone put you are obsessed with Indian wear and oh my god that is so true. Like I wish I could have like a whole like kitted out wardrobe of like Indian clothes. Like right now it's all like zipped up in like bags. Actually if you guys want to see it I can do a video of how I've organized my like Indian wardrobe. Um, but yeah I wish I had like a wardrobe where like everything was like hung up really nicely with like the matching like shoes and the bag and the bangles like all like with each outfit. And I actually would love to buy pieces that are more high end that I can wear for a longer period rather than like cheaper outfits that I feel like more like throwaway fashion. I'd rather have like, yeah, more like high-end 
or like mid to high end like designer Indian wear. Like I, yeah, that is like my dream to have a closet like that. But yeah, I am pretty obsessed with Asian outfits. <laughs> Someone has said, you had braces because your teeth are perfect. I've actually never had braces before. Um, when I was really young, I used to have a gap in between my two front teeth. But I don't know what happened. Like, once my other teeth just started growing, like, everything just pushed itself in the right way. Uh, I do feel like I have, like, little chips in my teeth. I want to maybe consider getting bonding done on my teeth just to kind of, like, level everything out because my bottom teeth, like, go in like this and... Yeah, I don't know, there's like little things that I definitely feel like I could like, like smooth out and make like even. I definitely feel like, like teeth bonding might be like a thing that I might try out, I don't know. Okay, Megna said that I can speak Hindi and I was talking about this on my Instagram live the other day and a lot of people think that I speak Hindi but I absolutely don't, like I butcher it so badly. I feel like I can speak it in my head but when I start saying it out loud, I'm really bad at it. I watch Bollywood movies and I understand them but I just feel like I cannot speak it for myself. But I can speak Gujarati fluently. Someone has put, you are very emotional and cry easily. I definitely have times where I'm so emotional, like the tiniest thing can tick me off and I'll sit there and I'll just cry my eyes out. But I think in general, I'm pretty strong and level-headed. There's certain times of the month where I just feel like I'll be watching Friends and bawling my eyes out. Like, it just, it just doesn't make any sense. So another assumption is that I would totally go back and do my wedding day and do everything all over again. And that is so true. Literally, our wedding in Mexico was the best week of our lives. I would happily, happily, happily do that over again. So someone's put in as assumption that, first of all, don't be bad, but you always wear makeup. I, like nine times out of 10, especially in the house, I never wear makeup. Even when we're doing like food runs or if I'm nipping into town, like I never wear makeup. Makeup. So nine times out of ten you'll see me like this, obviously without the face mask, but with no makeup on. <laughs> Someone's put, I feel like you've never been to India, and if you did, that means you didn't like India that much. Honestly, growing up, up until I was about in year four or five, I actually went to India every single summer. That was like my summer holiday. So when I was younger, I never really got to appreciate India because it, for me it was very much like going back to my dad's town, seeing all like family and friends, going to their places to eat or going to some weddings. So like I never had fun in the sense that I didn't have like a lot of people my age, because bearing in mind my brother's eight years older than me, I felt like I was just by myself and bored. But ever since I've been a lot older and visited India, like I say to my husband all the time, like let's move to Mumbai for like a year and just experience like a full year out there. Like that would be like one thing that I want to like tick off my list of things to do. But if not that, then at least go to India for like two or three months do a bit of traveling because um, I want to do like North India, South India, I want to go to Bangalore, I want to go to um, Rajasthan, like there's so much stuff that I want to do because there's so much to do and see in India but I absolutely love India. Someone's put that I feel insecure without makeup and that's so not true. I actually love being makeup free. It's like one of my favorite, favorite things. I think when I was like in my teens, like I always wanted to be in makeup or have some sort of makeup on me. But the older I've gotten, like I'm so happy with like not wearing any makeup. <laughs> Someone has assumed that I put milk in before my cereal and that is so not true. I have to put my cereal in first before I put milk in. And one thing that I love doing is I love having cereal at night, like I love having it for dinner. So someone has said that you spend more on skincare than makeup just like myself and that definitely has to be true. I definitely feel like the older that I've gotten, I do wanna invest in like a really good skincare like regime or like skincare products. Cause I just feel like if you look after your skin, it's gonna like, you're gonna be thankful for it when you're a lot older, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I definitely spend a lot more on my skincare than my makeup. Oh, someone's put, are you 25? <laughs> I have this running joke. Every year when it's my birthday, people ask me, oh, so how old are you now? And I'm always like, I'm 25 forever. <laughs> I feel like 25 was such a good age for me. It was when I quit my old job and started doing YouTube full time. And yeah, it was such like a carefree like moment of my life where I literally took so many leaps of faith. Um, but yeah, I always joke about that I'm 25 forever, but I'm not, I'm actually 31. <laughs> okay, so someone is saying that I'm gonna be doing a house tour. And oh my God, guys, I have like so much to say about this. Honestly guys, like, I love my privacy, I love having my own space, I 
I'm not gonna lie, I quite like watching house tour videos, but I want to keep my space like my space, if you know what I mean. Like, I already put quite a lot about me on the internet, so I want to keep that kind of, um, yeah, private. I'm gonna be doing a video of how I've organized my kitchen and how I've organized my like Indian wardrobe, so you will see little bits of it, but I'm not gonna be doing like a full. Welcome to my home, this is where you get to the kitchen, this is where you get to the living room. I don't think I'll be doing that, so I'm really sorry about that in advance, but um, yeah, it's not coming, sorry. Okay, someone has put that you feel conscious about your body, and I think, yeah, that is quite true. I'm honestly, like, not that tall, I'm not, like, super skinny or anything, um, but yeah, like, it does, like, when you see other people who are, like, really like have got like this model figure like it does make you kind of go oh whoa like I don't look like that but I don't know I think I feel like the older as I'm getting I just care about it less like that doesn't define who I am as a person so yeah um there are times where I kind of like feel really insecure about that but I just have to remind myself that that's just an outer shell like I know I shouldn't really care about like the external because it's more so about what's in here Someone said that you failed your GCSEs and A-levels. So I actually didn't fail my A-levels or GCSEs. I got an A-C-E, <laughs> A-C-E-D for my um, A-levels. And for my GCSEs, I got, what did I get? One A star, four A's, four B's, and two C's. So yeah. I didn't fail them, but I don't know, I think I was always more like creative when it came to like studies. Someone says that you're low-key a real tomboy, the kind with tracksuit, hoodies and caps as your go-to outfit. So when I was a lot younger, like literally I would sit in the house with like a really nice outfit on, with really nice like done up hair and like really nice and like pretty vibes, but I kid you not, like since I've been doing YouTube, I feel like my top half is always nice. Like. I wear, I wear like a nice t-shirt or something or like a nice top and then the bottom half of me will just be like leggings or I love joggers like I love just like chilling out in joggers but um yeah I feel like the YouTube life has definitely taken over my like casual wardrobe but um I do love dressing up as well like whenever we go out for like dinners or go out with friends or anything like that like I do love like making that effort and dressing really nice so um yeah but when it's like home slob life like I'm in full on chill out clothes like it's either one extreme or the other with me dressing <laughs> I think that is everything you guys. I'm just going to let you know what I've used on my face. So for my eye cream I used, where are you? I used the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. And then for my serum I actually used my Aurelia Revitalize and Glow Serum. I love this stuff. This is like my second or third bottle. And then for like my moisturiser slash mask, because I want to sleep with this on, I'm using the Beauty Kitchen Night Halo Potent Sleep Mask. This stuff is beautiful. I'm actually going to mix some of the Beauty Kitchen High Definition Facial Oil into that as well. I haven't actually tried this one yet but I love this sleep mask, it's so good. I use it about two or three times a week but we're going to get some of this high definition oil on and mix the two together. This brand I actually came across on, when was it? I think it was the Boots launch that I went to in Covent Garden and I saw their stand and I was like, oh, this looks really interesting. So I picked up quite a few little bits from there. But, but I'm gonna end this video right here. I feel like we've done a really nice like pampering session. Hopefully you guys pampered along with me. Um, I'm definitely gonna just go to sleep with my hair mask on. I've got my face nice and moisturized and oiled up, ready to go to bed. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is everything from me for now. Um, everything that I've mentioned and all the products that I used um, whilst doing my pampering, I will leave a link to in the info box below. So please don't forget to check that out. Um, oh, I also use this as a moisturizer. The Augustinus Bader, the cream. This is new as well, I haven't tried that before, but I wanted to give that a go, but um, totally forgot to mention that. Sidetrack, sidetrack. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I think that is everything from me. Um, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and please don't forget to subscribe, and follow me on Instagram, I'm always posting on Instagram, so yeah, I think that's everything from me, and I guess I shall see you all in my next video, bye!